Good morning, I'm Amira. And I am Mr. Rob. Welcome to the week of the 18th to the 22nd of September. Here are this week's updates and news. So on the 15th of September, we had some students wearing their colors of the team they wished to win the World Cup here in Qatar. So that was like the pregame, that was the warm up, that was the friendly match. On the Thursday, the 22nd of September, we want everybody, parents, students, staff, puppies, cats, whoever you have, to wear the colors they want to win the World Cup. This is an exciting time for Qatar, and at ACS Doha, we just want to share that excitement. Did you know that on Tuesday, teachers have classes and professional development? Last week, all staff from Pre-K 3 to DP worked on authentic learning, collaborating and writing on the walls, and they worked to brainstorm and problem solve as teams. Middle High School announcement. Middle High, sc Middle high School morning time before 7.10. Students remain in Maidan. After 7.10, students can head to class areas. At 7.25, all students must head to class. University Expo Qatar. On the 19th to the 20, 20th of September, the Ministry of Education hosted a free university fair at the Weston Hotel. There was 60 universities from uh, 10 countries from around the world, including Qatar, US, UK, Canada, Australia, Hungary, and more. This was a great opportunity to understand the possibilities of studying in, in other countries, scholarships, and co courses offered by these universities. Ask Ms. Heather for more information. Interested in helping to mentor and coach football, Mr. Rawlinson is asking for middle high school volunteers to support the lower school football ASA. Day and times will be determined. Please email Ms. Mashila, wcasper at ecs-schools.com if you are interested. Last Tuesday, the grades 6 and 7 students hosted a special guest, Mr. Jose, from Deep Qatar. Doha Environmental Actions Project is a local organization that helps with plastic pollution and beach cleanups in Qatar. Students learn from Mr. Jose, an environmental activist, about how they can participate to help the local ecosystems and keep our beaches clean. Hi, my name is Mohammed, and thanks for listening to Game of the Week. Fall Guys, formerly known as Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, is a platform battle royale game developed by Mediatonic. The game involves up to 60 players who control jelly bean-like creatures and compete against each other in a series of randomly selected mini-games, such as obstacle courses or tag. This game is rated E for everyone and is on all consoles. Welcome to Awkward Events. We're looking to bring back a segment that we used to include Awkward Events. This segment allows you to share your awkward moments with the community. You can share a story that you think others may understand and laugh about. You can also include your name for all, for all to know who you are, or you can share the moment and we will keep your identity secret. Fill in this form to share your moment and it may be highlighted here. <laughs> Welcome to Jokes Week with Alia Jaffrey. What do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of streets do ghosts haunt? Dead ends. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the scarecrow win an award? He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> That's all, all I have for you today, and I hope you have a great week. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fun Fact. This week's Fun Facts is about clouds. Our first fact is, in meteorology, the study of clouds is called nephrology. The second fact is, circus clouds are made of ice. Our third fact is, a sky full of iridescent clouds gives you nacreous clouds. Uh, our fourth fact is, the title of the highest cloud goes to a rare but beautiful noctilucent cloud that hovers around 60,000 meters. And our last fact is, the origin of the word cloud can be found in the Old English words clud or clod, meaning a hill or a mass of rock. Around the beginning of the 13th century, the word came to be used as a metaphor for rain clouds, 
because of the similarity in the appearance between a mass of ro rocks and a cumulus heat cloud. Thank you for joining us for fun facts. I hope to see you all next week. Hi, I'm Amina, and I'm going to inform you about some historical events that occurred not so long ago or are even going on right now. Some of you may be aware there is a civil war going on in Ethiopia right now. It started back in 2020, and it is between the Ethiopian government, headed by the uh, the Prime Minister Abe Ahmed, and the TPLF, the Tigris People's uh, Liberation Front. The war started because of a political disagreement in on, no on November, and has been going on with a few ceasefires up until now. Both sides are accused of serial war crimes, and around and around half a million people have been killed so far. The Prime Minister, Mr. Ahmed, won a Nobel Peace Prize in 2019 for establishing a peace treaty with Eritrea, a country that has been warring with Ethiopia for around 20 years. It would, it would, I would say that this war is caused because of political and ideological reasons, since the war broke out two years after Prime Minister Abe came to power and he started removing members of the TPLF from the government and taking control back from them after over 30 years. The TPLF was naturally not pleased about this, so it attacked the Ethiopian government. The Tigris actions are political, while the Ethiopians are ideological, since Mr. Abi, Mr. Abi removed the TPLF from power to take control and do what he sees best for the country. Thank you for joining us this week in your weekly news and updates. Um, one more week till break. If you have any idea for our news or updates, please share at goodmorningacs at gmail.com. Have a great week.